Clayton said, you know, I think he said, you know, kind of have a rest day today. I was like, I don't want to have a rest day. Extra work after training. This is what it's about. You mess up, you keep trying. Yeah, Sammy. Woo! Let's go. How does that feel? Oh, just so much better. Honestly, my life is fulfilled at this point. Really? Wow, yeah. that's incredible. I look up to you. you yo, yo, yo! What's going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. We just got a session in. You guys saw that. What do you guys think of it? I thought it was pretty good, in my opinion. Lighter, of course. Jack, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it was pretty good. Good to get in a live session. Yeah. Obviously, after yesterday, I did... I managed to get... I haven't told you guys. I managed to get 120 kg on my quarter squat. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then I also had the sprint training. But yeah, that was a good session. First touch, long drives, and then we did another passing drill in there that you guys didn't get to see. Oh yeah, man. It's hot out here, making sure we're keeping hydrated. Going home now, having some lunch, some food. Oh yeah, and then the other thing I forgot I did yesterday, that running. That running was so bad. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh right yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. That was far out. It was up back, up back, up back, up back, up back. So many times. But yeah, good to get the session in today. Clayton said, you know, I think he said, you know, kind of have a rest day today. I was like, I don't want to have a rest day. I want to get out and work, but I'm not going to kill myself to the ground. I just wanted to get a little session in. So that's what we've done. So now I'm going to go down to the beach and go for a surf. Actually surfing. I know, I've told you guys before, I like to boogie board or bodyboard simply because I don't like putting time into things where if I'm not going to be good at it, then I don't see the point of putting any time into it. That's why I put so much effort and time into football because I know deep down that's something I'm going to be successful in in the future. I never want to do anything in life where... I'm kind of going to be partly successful. It's just not me. And on top of that, what I'll say here is right now, like today and this past week or so is probably, I feel amazing. Not just body wise, mentally wise, we're talking life. Now, I think a lot of people kind of get this mixed up where, look, this is a footballing channel. This is a footballing journey where I'm showing you guys how I'm going to sign a pro contract in 365 days. But the fact is, I'm a human being, I like to have fun as well, and that's part of the channel. And if you're not enjoying life, you're not going to play your best football, that's why I go down to the beach and enjoy myself. That's why I go, again, down to the beach. That's why I, I don't know, film a few trick shots here and there that are good fun, and it just makes me happy, and I can guarantee you that's going to make me a better player on the field. See, you can work for hours and hours on technique, but if that technique is overcome by you not being happy on the ball or not happy with what you're doing, it doesn't matter. So look, find a balance in life. Be happy with what you're doing. You can't spend hours upon hours on football. It's just a fact. I'm trying to help you guys out. So gonna go down the beach. I know Jack and Sam are going as well. So I'll get a few clips on the GoPro. So let's head down there. I can't wait to have this smoothie. So last night I made this smoothie. I didn't show you guys, but I managed to get it to 1,350 calories. Absolutely insane. So I'll have that a bit later on and show you guys that. But now let's go down to the beach. Let's get that surf in. Let's get out there. 
Which board am I riding? This one right here, right? No, this oh. one. Oh, oh. Look at that. It's it's almost like a boogie board. Yeah, it's like a boogie. Peter, beater, panel beater. You can beat it. No, I'm just a panel beater. Do you know what a panel beater is? If you're called a panel beater in football, you're basically the guy that like goes into challenges to try and break people's legs. Oh, like people with like acid boots? Yeah. Like, like, really uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Panel beaters. I hate them. I hate panel beaters. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the surf. you want to say Sammy? Oh yeah. What's he doing? No! <laughs> oh I hate this board. <laughs> I actually suck. I'm so bad. Oh job. Back from the surf and it looks like I'm a little bit burnt and that's from the park today. That was a good session man, the grass down there was incredible. I want to get down there again. I didn't show you guys dinner because I was absolutely starving when I made it. How's it going? The last little bits in here, it's basically a beef stew with some vegetables, potatoes, nothing super special. But yeah, just eating, 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 it's super important. I want to be going to these trials that are coming up. What are we now? We're Wednesday, so six days from today. I need to be ready, mentally, physically. You know, I put that work in with Clayton yesterday, putting the work in again tomorrow. It just doesn't stop. And I think a lot of us, like I was saying before, we all focus on the physical side of the game. The mental part is massive. So make sure you guys are taking that into consideration as well. Now I'm gonna chill for a bit. That surf kind of tied out my arms far out. I haven't done it enough. Gonna chill out and I'll catch you guys with the smoothie a bit later on. All right, so as you guys can see over there, there's the macros, I think you call them, for this smoothie. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed because I didn't put in as many berries as I would have liked. I may top it up just a tiny bit because that's what gets the flavor so damn good. Now, the other thing I noticed is I'm putting a lot of honey in. I'm putting 60 grams of honey. And when I looked at what the honey packet said for its recommended serving, it was something like 15 grams, I believe. So I'm having four times the amount, which is a lot of sugar. I mean, I think I can handle it, but look, it's probably not ideal. You know, you can be really picky with your foods. You can be so picky. I mean, there's probably things in there where you might go, eh, you could swap this for this and put this in and probably take that out and put it in. I'm just wondering whether maybe I toned down the honey a little bit, but then that makes it really tough to actually eat and get down. What am I really losing with having the honey? I'm not 100% sure. I need to do my own research on that because if this doesn't taste good, the fact is it is much easier to go down into this fridge here, pull out this bottom drawer, and get myself some ice cream. I'll tell you what, it is much, much easier to do that. Go into the drawer over here as well. Reach down here, pick myself up some thick and rich chocolate sauce and put that on top with some Milo as well. That is much, much easier to eat than something like this, which is extremely filling. It doesn't taste the absolute best. So look, 60 grams of honey. What am I losing? What am I gaining? I'm not sure, I'm gonna go and do my own research and I'll probably let you guys know in another vlog in the future. But that's my 1,300 and, I forget what it was, something like that, calorie smoothie. I'm stoked with this, I'm trying to get this in as much as possible. It is tough, but hey, I need to make these sacrifices. I need to eat it, and look, I probably don't feel very well after, but it's helping my body. I know that 100%. So before I said that uh, you don't feel very well after this smoothie, as you guys can see, it is all gone. There's no more in the plate. But the thing is, there's so much food that it just sits in your stomach. 
you know, feel the absolute best for a little bit and then you get over it. But yeah, I thought I'd just complain a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure anyone else on their smoothie game can relate. But man, I'm so tired. I got a big day tomorrow. I got sprint training, gym. I may or may not, I know for a fact, Pat is back tomorrow at sprint training. I'm stoked for that. But there's a possibility that after the session, I get something in with Pat. It depends how he's going with his injury. Fingers crossed he's getting better, man. I've been thinking about it all the time. Pat's a great training partner and for him to not be there and be part of the sessions that I wanna do, it sucks, I miss him. So look, hopefully he'll be back tomorrow and then we can get a little session in after sprint training. Ah, oh, Thursdays, man. Thursdays at sprint training. Oh no. Every time I go to bed on a Wednesday, I think about, okay, what am I doing tomorrow? And I think Thursday sprint training. And then I think about the sled. So for our sprint trainings, Tuesday is normally a speed session and then Thursday is more of a power session. And in those power sessions, we have to do sled runs. And in those sled runs, it's up to 50 meters, walk for like a couple of seconds, 10 seconds, 15 second rest, 50 meter run back. And this is 100%. It is tough and you end up doing eight to 10 of those. It's not fun. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm, I don't wanna go. But hey, we go. We put the grind in, we work. It's the only way to improve. So I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm going to go to bed, get some rest. Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're here. Join the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Listen.